Hello and welcome to Art with Mrs G. In this video I'll be giving you some ideas for fingerprinting. I'm going to start with a couple of cheeky sheep first because they're pretty easy. So we draw a line of ground about a third of the way up the page and I'm going to do two sheep on here. Firstly this one is standing sideways so with your pencil draw an oval body and then two legs at the back and two legs at the front. These can be coloured in in your black pen or pencil. After that, draw the little black sheep face. So here's the head, it's a bit smaller than the body with the long face and the floppy ears and then we can colour that in with our black. Finally, add a little tail. Now I'm going to do one facing forward. So this time we draw a slightly rounder circle and this sheep is looking straight ahead. So I put the face right in the middle this time and then a couple of legs showing at the front and I can colour those in in my black. We can give a little tail sticking out as well if you want. Use your little finger to do some tiny white prints of paint. Use the end of your pencil to do two little eyes. I'll do the other one as well now. While we're waiting for the eyes to dry so we can paint some little black pupils in them, we can add a little bit of grass and some flowers in the foreground. So I'm going to build it up using my yellows and greens first. Now add a bit of blue into the grass and some pale milky green that's going to show up on my dark paper. Add on the pupils to your sheep's eyeballs when the paint is dry. These sheep always have a slightly surprised looking expression. If you like, you can give your sheep a bow as well. Add a few stalks with some flowers on them if you like. Always nice to have a speck of colour. Now for a beautiful peacock. So let's draw its body first. So down the bottom of the page there I have the body. I draw a smaller circle for the head. Then I can add two little stick legs with the bird's clawed feet. Then we join the head with a skinny little neck. I can add a beak on. We think which way the bird is looking. I add an eye on and then we can put a crown of feathers on top of his head and I am just using some felt tips for this bit. So make that one look pretty there and then we'll need some wings, wing shapes to go on so we keep it really simple and that can be coloured in or painted in. Okay, so now we think about the fan coming out. So I'm just going to gently draw this on here to show you. The fan's going to come right down to the ground and then go round this peacock in a giant semicircle. So draw yours gently first and make sure you're happy with it. And this is when we start fingerprinting in semicircles going around the bird's body. To guide my fingerprints, I'm going to section up the feathers. So if you think it's like a fan coming out from the bird, so just draw some lines to guide your fingerprint patterns. I'm going to start off with a nice bright green which you really notice on the peacock's feathers. So we start really close to his body and we follow those lines around. 
This is our background colour. We're going to layer up fingerprints over the top of these. And try and cover up your lines if they are showing. Semicircles around the bird. I've let it dry a little bit, it's not completely dry, and now I'm going to use a slightly smaller middle finger to do the blue dots on the next layer, and these are kind of at the base of the feathers, at the base. So it might be easier to kind of do one side and then turn your page to the other side at this point. Time for a nice pale yellow to go on and I'm going to use a little tiny finger at the bottom of these feathers. It takes time. Finally, just dab on a little tiny bit of blue, especially round the outside feathers which are more likely to have a really strong pattern when we look at pictures of peacocks. I think that looks even nicer with a little bit of blue added, but I haven't done it on every single feather. I've just chosen a few semicircles to add it to. Keep a wet cloth nearby and keep those fingers clean whilst you're working. Don't want everything going brown. Adding the little bony feathery bits behind the feathers here. With a blue pencil just in the gaps. Here's another one which I've developed in shades of blue. So you can always choose different colour combinations for your feathers. Just adding a little bit of the nice pale bright yellow to my blue peacock now brightening it up. There's a sort of orangey yellow or golden colour sometimes in peacock feathers too. So let's just see how this looks. Just a few here and there. Actually quite nice adding that in a few places. My final fingerprint challenge is going to be a parrot. So let's get the body shape going first. So think about the size of your paper and the fact that you're going to need to fit the wings in too. Sketch very gently. So here's the head and the body. So we can join those up now to get a rough shape. The beak will go on here and parrots have got a very curvy beak. I'll do that in black whilst I've got my pencil out. Okay, and I'm going to put a little eye down there ready as well. And then we want to go take the wings out. There we go, it's the top line of the wings. And then a line going the other way, matching on the paper. Okay, then we need to take a nice swishing tail off down the end of the body there. And we're going to finish with some tail feathers here. The feathers will also go out on each side. So this is a guideline for my fingerprints. And then the body, the feathers will also go from the edge of the body like this to the tip of the wing. From the edge of the body to the tip of the wing. So there I have my basic body shape. Now I take my red and I start filling in my parrot. So to begin with, let's get this head done. So nice and smooth, drag your finger around and sort of draw with your finger. The parrots have white on their face too, so you can leave part of the face white like that. And then we take it down to the top of the body and just flick it off there. Then along the top of the wings, Drag your finger along to draw the top of the wings. Flick down. And now the other wing. Uh, 
And now we're going to take it down and put some red onto the end of this parrot's tail here. So flick, flick, flick with that finger. Next, I add a nice, strong turquoisey blue I'm going to use with my fingertip. And I'm going to do the edge of the wings. So I flick down with my fingertip on the edge of those wings. You can also flick upwards and inwards. Okay. And we add that turquoise on the side of the tail as well. Bit of blue over the edge there. And a little bit more of this dark blue along the sides of the body just to give it a bit of shape. And then you can flick in the middle of the bird's body and you will get the colours blending together which is fine, it's absolutely what we want. So we get some nice pale blue developing now where we're adding the white. And now for the wings, flick down, flick up. All that remains for me to do now is to get my black pencil and darken up the eye there and make sure that you can see the bottom of the face. So just a little bit of shading maybe. I just decided to add a little bit of dark blue on the end of these feathers as well, just for a little bit of extra definition actually. It just really brings the picture out. There we go. That looks even better. What will you decide to fingerprint now? Will it be the parrot? Will it be the beautiful peacock? Or will it be some cheeky sheep? Whatever you decide to do, I hope your fingerprinting is very successful and that you will join me again another day on Art with Mrs G. Thank you. Goodbye.